Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to create this design right here. This is actually really fast and really easy because we took a pre-existing design, we made some alterations, added some elements to it, and it's ready to go. And that is a really fast and easy way that you can create a lot of designs really quickly, especially if you're trying to do some like bulk um, adding of designs, I guess. So this is a cool cross niche, sort of a vintage style, you know, Western cowboy slash a ghost design. And I've seen a lot of these up lately. So if this is something that you would like to learn about and learn how to do, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so I am on Canva's home page. As always, we're just gonna go to custom size and we're gonna create a blank design with 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Um, as usual, I'm gonna be designing for black, so I'm just gonna change my background color here to black. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a pre-made design that you could get off of sites like Creative Fabrica and sort of just do some easy alterations to make it your own and throw it on a shirt. And so it, it makes it very fast and very easy to come up with um, a lot of designs. So if you are in a time crunch, you don't wanna spend you know, a half hour making a design, it's really easy to just make some little tweaks to designs that are pre-existing and put them up and that is totally okay to do. If you are on Creative Fabric, and I'll jump over there really quick, there are tons and tons and tons, I mean hundreds of thousands of designs that you can look through. And there are some, you know, really good ones, some bad ones, you know, you might take a long time sort of looking through the different style designs and seeing what you like. But if you find one that you like, like this is one that I went ahead and sort of altered and that was an easy one to alter there. Um, and so I'm gonna show you a technique that you can use on pretty much any of these. So if you find any like pre-made designs that you really like, and you wanna be able to use them, you can definitely make them your own. Ooh, this one. I wanna warn you guys about this too. I had a design up on Amazon. It was not a ghost design, but it said psychopath and it had somebody, you know, it had, you know, a bike theme and it was meant to be a bike joke and it was up there for a long time, several years. And recently they took it down and the reason that they gave me was that it was insensitive to mental illness illness so be careful if you're going to put this on merch by amazon because for whatever reason they looked at that word and decided that that was um being insensitive to mental illness so i just saw that and i wanted to throw that caveat out there but as i'm looking uh just at the designs in general on here there's lots of really you know cool ones that you could download and use and so here's one that would be like already done that of course you could just sort of alter and make your own so i'm going to jump back over here and the ones that we're going to talk about today is sort of the cross niche between halloween and western so i've seen a lot of different cool western style designs the one we're going to do today says howdy ghouls but there are a lot of different ones up there and i downloaded a whole group from creative fabrica to show you guys so I'm gonna go over to my upload section where I put them that way I can show you okay so here in my uploads these are ones that I had downloaded from Creative Fabrica and I just uploaded the files um, onto Canva and so these are all kind of pre-made Western style Halloween designs that you could use and you could you know play with any of them you could play with all of them the one I'm going to show you today is this one here that said howdy ghouls because I thought that there was a, a lot of opportunity to make this kind of cool. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I think I wanna put just sort of a white uh, sort of outline around the whole thing. It's gonna help to make those little, um, you know, uh, bats, like the bats that I can't really see. It's gonna make those pop on a dark background. And so I think that would look kind of cool to do. So I'm gonna take the whole thing, go up to edit photo. I'm gonna go to shadows. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put an outline around the whole thing. And I'm gonna make that outline nice and white. I'm gonna make it pretty small. It don't, doesn't need to be huge. You know, it depends kind of what look you're going for. Something like that would make it look more like a sticker because stickers will tend to have that sort of wide um, 
kind of white background around it. I could go really thin. I don't want to go that thin because I want it to look like it was intentional. So you do want it to, if you add an outline like this, I want it to look intentional. And so I'm going to go something like that. And I think that looks pretty cool there. So I've got my shadow around the whole thing. So that looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw some extra elements on here. So I'm thinking Western stuff, maybe like a rope circle. So let's go over to our elements and we're just going to start adding things. So I was going to add some rope, some cowboy rope. So I'm going to go to graphics and see what I have for rope available to me. And so there's some cool ones here. Here is a rope circle that I thought looked kind of cool. This one has a little bit of a knot to it. I don't need it to have said knot, but the knot looks kind of cool. So if I made it look like it was sort of something like that, and I sent it to back, you know, so that's one way we could do it. I'm not super fond of that one because I think that's a little bit on the thinner side for what I want. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one, but something like that is what I'm looking for. So I can keep scrolling. Here's a good one here. This one. I can go ahead and select a color. Let me just get sort of a tan color here for the rope. And so there's another one that I could potentially do. And again, sends to back and see how that looks. And so I do kind of like that one looks kind of cool. That was a good option. And so I'm just looking at different, you know, styles that are available and how they look. That one's cool. Here's one. I don't like that one as much. This one's kind of cool because I can select the colors here. So I could do something like that. And let's try. Maybe, let's try this one here. Let me center that, try this rope here. I like this one because it's a lot thicker so it goes with the overall look. So there's my howdy. Make that fill the whole page a little bit better. Center it, send that one to back. Got my howdy ghouls. So I like that. That gives it a little bit of a westerny look and it looks pretty cohesive. So there are several different ones I can do. Here's another one. Oops. As I play with these, you can just see different styles. This one's a little bit more detailed. This is pretty much a flat, you know, solid one color style design. So this rope probably looks best because it sort of matches the style the best. So I think I'm just gonna go with that. I'm also gonna go with, let's say vintage. I could put vintage cowboy, which is one that I looked for to see what else I could add that might look good in the vintage cowboy type section. So you got your hats, your boots, your guitar, you know, lots of different things to give you ideas of things that you could add. I don't want to put any guns on here because I do want this to be able to go on a kid's shirt. Um, and so just different styles. Here's like a little badge. I could do that like he's wearing the badge. It could be like a sheriff. And if I was to put that here on him, something like that, and I could change the color there to make it look a little bit more like a gold. And that's one option. I'm not super fond of that one. I think there's probably some better options out there, but there you go. That's one good one. A bandana. I could put a bandana on him. And so I like that. Here's a cactus. I could add a cactus to it. I do kind of like this cactus because it's, again, it's a nice solid one and it gives it sort of that old vintage style look. So something like this, and maybe I go ahead and send it to back that way. And that looks kind of cool there with the cactus. So I like the cactus there. Here's another badge, and this one's a little bit more solid. And that one might look a little bit better if he was wearing a little, little badge there. Something like that looks pretty cool. 
And so this just kind of gives me some ideas of things that I could add or do to sort of just make it my own. I do like the idea of adding a bandana to him. Here's one that says sheriff. Lots of different things here that you could do. So yeah, there's like a ghost with a bandana I think looks pretty cool. I mean, here is a bandana, but I don't necessarily want this color. There's different styles. I can go ahead and just do a search just for bandana and see what comes up because my guess is there's probably some cool bandanas that might come up, but let's see. I mean, that looks pretty cool. I take that. I could angle it like that, bring it down just a little bit. Um, so that design looks pretty cool and you can play with this all you want. And so get creative. I can search again if I wanna see if there's another bandana. And so all sorts of bandanas here that you could work with in different colors and different shades. There's some solid ones. So if I wanted it to look just a little bit more solid, some of these are gonna allow you to change the color, which is kind of nice um, just for different bandana style look. And so again, play all you want. That one might look cool because you can change the color, but I don't necessarily like those little cutouts there, but something similar to that would look good. Here's one that I think probably would work best with this, would be to go ahead and make it maybe, it depends what color I'm going for, maybe some brown there, maybe I make this more of a pinkish color, maybe more of that howdy color up there and then make the dark blue, maybe a slightly darker version of that. Something there. Something like that. And so I could always do that and put that bandana there. And that one looks pretty good with this design too, because it brings the colors together. But I also like the red because it gives it just a little bit of contrast and it still looks pretty flat. So I think it would work either way. So, you know, that looks like it goes really well with it. That looks like it's bringing out a little bit of contrast. So however you want to play with it, lots of different styles, lots of different ways to go. Anyways, I wanted to keep this pretty quick. So here you go, you've got a design where I took one design and I just sort of added some things to it to kind of make it my own. And so now this would be a unique design that you could put up. And so literally all I did was I added some rope, I added a cactus, we threw a little bandana, a little, um, sheriff's badge, put a little white outline around it. And now it is a totally unique design and it could be put on you know, anything you want. This would also look really good on a sticker. It would take up a, a square frame pretty nicely and it's already got that white around the border here that looks really nice. So my guess is that this would look really good on a sticker. If I change the background color here to white, you could see. And so that's kind of how it would look on a sticker. And that's pretty cool too. So you could do this on different colors. But I just wanted to show you how you could pretty easily go ahead and alter pre-existing designs, add some things to them, make them your own and throw them up. And it's much faster and easier than creating your own design from scratch. Because of the cool editing features that um, Canva allows us to do now, you can always go ahead and erase any elements you don't like. So for example, some of these types of designs, if I didn't like the text, for example, I could just go up to my uh, magic eraser, I could erase just the text, and then I could just put my own text on top. And so lots of different ways that you can um, alter these pre-existing things now that's really fast and easy and efficient for putting up a lot of designs in bulk. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it gave you some good ideas of some different kind of Western style cross niching that you can do and how you can go ahead and you know make these designs your own. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Hope you guys are pumped on those Halloween designs and other fourth quarter style designs. Remember, people do do Christmas shopping early. So if you're just doing your evergreens, you wanna make sure you got a lot of those up now too, because people are probably already shopping for Christmas gifts. Um, so this is really the big quarter. Um, so pump it, keep, uh, keep going. So good luck on quarter four, and I hope to see you guys again.
That's all for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.